Whether you know it or not, insects like honeybees, butterflies, and beetles have deceptively huge impacts, not just on our own day-to-day -day lives, but on the health of the global ecosystem as well. As they travel and go about their own business, they carry pollen from one flower to another, cross-pollinating plants so they can reproduce. Much of the environment and humanity have pollinating insects to thank, so in this video, we'll go over how you can conduct pest control on your property without harming or endangering these pollinators. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pollinators, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. There are many different kinds of pollinators ranging from insects like honeybees to vertebrate animals like birds or bats. When pollinators are active, keep an eye out for their activity so you know when it's best to treat your yard. Honeybees are probably the most recognized pollinator, growing up to be about half an inch to just under one inch in length at maturity. They look similar to wasps in that they're both flying pests that have black and yellow markings. However, you can easily tell the two apart by noting the wasp's smooth, slim, and shiny body and comparing it with the honeybee's smaller, plumper, furry body. Other common pollinators include moths, butterflies, ladybugs, small birds, bats, and small lizards. The method of pollination is similar across these animals. As they search among the flowers for nectar, the pollen from one flower will rub onto the creature's body and then onto more flowers. Keep in mind that the techniques and products discussed later in this video focus on insect pollinators, as insecticides will have no effect on non-insects anyway. Before using any pesticides, we recommend you wear your proper personal protective equipment or PPE. And remember to keep children and pets away from treated areas until the applications settle. Supporting your lawn and pollinators can mean making several adjustments to your current pesticide plan. There are many products on the market that can be toxic to pollinators, like systemic insecticides. Systemic insecticides absorb into the plant tissue and translocate throughout a treated plant. Pollinators that come in contact with the nectar or pollen of a plant treated with a systemic insecticide may be affected by the chemical. The key to keeping pollinators safe as you treat your lawn is to use non-systemic insecticides. Non-systemic insecticides stay exactly where they're applied and will not be absorbed by nearby treated plants. By properly using a non-systemic insecticide, you'll be able to treat your property for targeted pests while avoiding pollinators entirely. For a quick knockdown of pests, we recommend Pyrite Aerosol. Pyrite is made with pyrethrins, a group of botanical insecticides. When the aerosol makes contact with an insect, the product works by interfering with the pest's central nervous system and quickly incapacitates it. If you're interested in getting Pyrite Aerosol, be sure to click the icon in the top right of the corner to shop for this product. To use this product, simply shake the can, hold the can about 18 inches away from your target, and spray for no longer than 10 seconds. Affected pests will be knocked down immediately and should die within minutes. Pyrid does not leave any residual effect after it's been applied, making it a great option for minimizing non-target insect contact. To control invasive pests such as cockroaches, house centipedes, or silverfish, we recommend you use Phycam Insect Bait. Phycam Insect Bait is a ready-to-use granular insecticide made with orthoboric acid. This insect bait kills slowly to reduce bait shyness. If you're in need of a great, long-lasting bait product, you can shop for this item by clicking on the icon in the top right corner. You can apply Phycam as a spot treatment or as a band around the perimeter of your structure at a rate of 4 pounds per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Simply shake the product directly from the container. The Phycam bait will stay on the applied surfaces, controlling crawling pests in areas where pollinators are rarely seen. Finally, the last product you can use to control pests on your turf is Bifen LP. Bifen LP is a bifenthrin-based insecticide that will provide long-lasting control of turf pests like ants, chinch bugs, fleas, or even mole crickets. To shop for Bifen LP granules, just click on the icon in the top right corner, and don't forget to check out the links in the description either. You'll need a broadcast push spreader to get an even coverage over your entire lawn. For general applications, you can apply 2.3 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Be sure to water the area afterwards to activate the granules. Bifen LP is a great choice because it controls the turf and the soil, areas where pollinators are not likely to come into direct contact with. When using any insecticides or pesticides, be mindful of what time of day you are applying them. If you find you must use a systemic insecticide to control your targeted pest, then timing your application is even more vital. Most pollinating insects, such as bees or moths, forage for food during the day and return to their shelters in the evenings. Therefore, you'll want to wait to apply your pesticide until later in the day or after sundown when beneficial insects are no longer active. 
Pollinating insects like bees and butterflies, as well as animals like birds, play an important role in the ecosystem. While it's important to support their growth, it's also important to be able to keep up with pesticide applications so our properties stay kept and groomed. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can conduct pest control on your property while protecting pollinators, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.